clashes it's time to clash with sp jackie today with another clash royale video and today i'm going to show you a three crown deck that's work against mortar and see i'm in royal arena and that's pretty cool it's my clan we are in 39 in the local in the world so here we are we are in royal arena and using this deck is pretty awesome over here too so here's where we can find, we are find some royal jan as well as musketer in our super magical sets. Sorry for not preparing that video, but don't worry, I will prepare it another day if I got another one. You can see the deck over here, it contains golem, dragon, minions, goblins, pair goblins, arrows, archers, and the one skeleton army. Now I can show you for some few replays over here. You can see I lost two, two or three matches, but I won it very high one had very high level you can see let's see some motor attacks over here to how to defeat the motors now he's a level 8 player i'm a level 8 player it's a fair play right now using the motor deck uh, and i was having that deck that is uh, the golem army and he's trying to release that skeleton army first and i also doing the same over here both are trying to do release them bringing the most used troop in the front now over here, I spread my golem and Bree brings this mortar. So I will not care about the mortar because he is going to do some damage. But as knowing that I am going to go against him as stronger because if he was going to defend the mortar, he may bring in some minion holders, barbarians. So I was ready for my dragon, but he surely bringing those Tesla and helping my small troops to take them out very easily. Now this deck contains very milli milli units and which can be taken out with one zap or even one arrow. So it is important to how to control with this deck. Now this deck is awesome if you are going to push against towers and getting 3 crowns or 1 crown or 2 crown doesn't matter. You're gonna get 3 crown if you are using the very well. Now my second dragon is ready. I'm going to push back with the second dragon. Here we go. We are going to take his first tower down. And that is sure he's not panicked because he's facing the Tesla with uh, my 3 crown victory. But now I know that he has this motor deck and he may bring those motors again. So now I'm playing defensive. And he's trying to build an elixir pump to get an elixir advantage. That was a bad placement of elixir pump. He to have the place in front so as to make a good defense for my golem to get distracted. You should keep in mind that golems are a very distracting unit if you are placing a go uh, elixir pump or anything like that. Now, be placing again mortar. I'm going for the three crown push. And I'm very much lusty over here to get the three crown here. Now he's placing the archer from the back to go from that side of the base to take some melee units right now. And he's pushing back with the dragon. Dragons are very great counter to but minions and oh he bring the minion hordes even this time. And I put my three minions. He zap my minions. Uh, sorry gob spear goblin. Now he's taking my golem out of this arena and my golem is literally going to go down. He has become into golemite. Now this push was a waste but still we have 60 seconds in this battle. Now it's time for me to go ahead and push back towards a three crown victory. I'm doing the same this time. I'm going back again with the second lane because I want to go for that two crowns even though because he's using the 30 mortars and I hate this mortar. Doesn't matter. Yes, mortar are a game plan. You, if Supercell has brought it, I should not angry on it. But many people are angry on mortars and that should be because they are the most annoying troops ever. They are from the, they're hitting from the back to your towers and that causes a great damage to your tower even. So mortars are a very fair play. So well played buddy. But don't worry. This is SP Jackie. I'm going to take this tower down. And okay now we're surely going to take this tower down. Because we have 4 archers in front of us. And this dragon is good. And oh he brought this minion on. And this minion on. We have the second dragon over here. And we've spread the minion. And he uh, defended with the Tesla Knight defense again. And now I will be very back up. I will be back up my golem with some of the units. Now he's bringing the skeleton army with me against me. And this one skeleton army are very much effective against princes, hawks, and even uh, dark princess. But dark princess can be taken them out very easy. Now I'm trying for the three crown push. I arrow this minion. I was, he was not knowing that I was arrow. I, I have arrows right now. You should uh, hide some of more troops because it may help you in the last attacks, uh, last way attacks. Now sorry for my this uh, uh, language I'm speaking because I'm just not feeling well right now. So as you can see I am going again a 3 crown push and there we are, we are going to take this crown out and there we go, 3 crowns in our first attack. So this replay was very amazing at to the point, this deck is pretty awesome, I am using this deck, you can see how well I managed to take these small units to grow with the help of golem, you should keep in mind that golem, the small units can be taken out by arrows. So now let's move on to the another replay. Now this replay will be more amazing as we are going to face another motor user over here and this motor user are most annoying thing in the world clash royale history. Okay now let's do it. 
So we are over here going to back our golem from the behind and gonna push with the dragon and a small unit. Now take a look, he uses that earlier. That's what I wanted and has his arrows to take the minion or down. This attacker was actually making lots of mistakes and that's what you need and whenever you need some kind of attacker you know sell. Oh fireballing my tower, that was a great idea, I think so. It was a good nice joke for you guys. And he's placing the cannon, right deployment of cannon, but I have the small units to take this cannon out very easily. And he's ready with another zap there over. And he may take my spear goblin, which are the main unit. And there he goes. He take my zap. He takes spear goblin with the zap. But I bring the small goblins, that is uh, mill goblins and the mill skeleton army. They will going to take this tower out. We are going to push for the first time. He is going to fireball this army. And he did it. But this time, I was faster than him. Now he is not placing the mortar till now. He was not given time to place that motor right now. I was not knowing that he was having this motor, but this motor was so annoying. Because motors are very much annoying. But well, it's a fair gameplay. Supercell has brought this motor into the game. So come on, you use it. I will defend against him. And I am again trying to go with the golem and back up with the dragons as well as minions as I do every time like this. And now he's trying to take few hit points from my tower. That is a waste of zap. Well, he knows that. That spell might have been used against those my melee units he knows but he makes more mistakes than he does. And now he's placing the motor when the golem is walking. That was a bad idea. You cannot take place motor whenever a unit is walking to his arena because motor will be get distracted to some or some unit in the uh, battlefield. Now we can see I have been attacking on both the lane onto the middle as well as to the third crown victory. And I placed my dragon from the back because he was there having that minion hold. And we are surely going to take this tower out. It looks like it. we are going to take this tower out. We have the 60 second time. And we took this tower out. We all roll small units coming over him. He's not going to do anything. He's panic over here. He's placing the motor from the back thinking that he's going to take this tower out. But not sure because we are going to do another 3 crown over here. This can is not going to do anything. There we are. 3 crown. So hope you like today's episode. Don't forget to give a thumbs up to his video. And... Subscribe to the channel if you want more Clash Royale, Clash of Clans contents, and don't forget to comment down below how to how the deck works for you. This is our clan in the top local. Want to join? Need 1,900 trophies up. So hope you like today's episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.